In-depth football coverage from The Athletic is now just £1 per week. See the link in the description to sign up today. Erling Braut Haaland is already a brilliant footballer and he's only going to get better. The fastest player to 20 Champions League goals is at some point going to leave Dortmund, but where will he go? Now this of course is time sensitive. Holland's release clause of a reported 75 million euros will become active in June 2022, but should Dortmund fail to qualify for the Champions League, that could speed things up. But in the first instance though, why are clubs so interested in Holland? Well, simply because he's brilliant. He's averaged a goal a game or more since leaving Mulder for RB Salzburg, and this season only three players have more goals plus assists per 90. And although his goals draw the most attention, Haaland has also developed other facets of his game. In addition, he functions well as a target man, has excellent penalty box awareness, and has become a good provider for his teammates. In short, he's a complete striker who will just continue to improve. Haaland's agent, Mino Raiola, told the BBC only a maximum of 10 clubs can afford to buy him, and four of those clubs are in your beautiful country, that is, in the Premier League. So, assuming that the move happens this summer, it's highly unlikely that either Real Madrid or Barcelona would actually be on that list. Although newly elected president Joan Laporta has suggested that he would make signing Holland a priority, Barcelona have an already bloated squad on massive wages, and they have debts reportedly in excess of 1 billion euros. Real Madrid desperately need a new striker to assume Benzema's mantle, but again, the club is suffering from low revenues and high expenditure. Otherwise, this move makes total sense. Haaland is a superstar with career longevity, has the sort of competitive streak that would suit Real's more combative image, and Zidane's team play a more direct style of football than Barcelona. But do they have the funds? Well, without significant restructuring of the playing squad, it's quite hard to see that one happening. And we can dispense with a few other clubs too. Chelsea have spent heavily on attacking players, and while they might have the resources, the rest of the team probably needs more investment first. Liverpool are habitually cautious in the market, and even when they do spend heavily, they prefer to avoid bidding wars and auctions. Klopp's centre-forward needs to be more of a link player too. Holland is good enough to excel in that team, but Liverpool have probably identified players more suited to Klopp's 4-3-3, who are also available for less. Juventus would love to take Holland. Cristiano Ronaldo, while still Juventus's top scorer, is 36 and a long-term replacement is needed. Juventus also play with two strikers, so Haaland could slot in pretty easily. But the club have stuttered under new manager Andrea Pirlo, and this feels like a move Haaland would avoid because of the uncertainty around the club's management and long-term success at European level. So that leaves Bayern Munich, PSG and the two Manchester clubs. Bayern still have Robert Lewandowski, who shows no signs of slowing up and have played with one striker under successive managers. Dortmund would also presumably seek to frustrate such a move, and Haaland might also feel some loyalty to the club that afforded him the opportunity to excel. But Hansi Flick is known to be an admirer, and staying in a league that Haaland knows well, at a club that will regularly challenge for the Champions League, could be in Bayern's favour. PSG is an intriguing prospect not least because the other great young player in world football is already there. However, that could be a sticking point. Ronaldo and Messi never played in the same team, and one would question whether Mbappe or Haaland would not want to be the sole star of their side. Plus, if Mbappe leaves, would Haaland really want to be his replacement? However, from a footballing perspective, this does make a lot of sense. Haaland can function as a focal point, but his link-up play is underrated and he could form a devastatingly fluid front three with Mbappe and Neymar. PSG also like to draw sides forwards and then hit the space between their defence and midfield in transition, and Haaland would thrive in that setup, especially alongside the pace and dribbling ability of Neymar and Mbappe. It's a frightening thought, but it's not that likely to be realised. And that leaves Manchester United and Manchester City. A straight shootout between rivals feels like potentially the transfer saga of the summer. Both have the finances to make the deal work, and both make a compelling case. United have Heritage, a manager that Haaland knows from his time at Mulder, and play a counter-attacking 4-2-3-1 that is probably the closest stylistic fit to Dortmund's shape and approach in the Premier League. Haaland's agent, Raiola, has had difficulties with United before, specifically in relation to Paul Pogba. 
But if the midfielder does leave, bringing in Haaland could be a nice trade-off that suits all parties. United are reportedly confident that the long-standing animus with Haaland's father, Alfie Inga, which stems from a Roy Keane tackle he suffered whilst playing for Manchester City, would not be any sort of factor either. But City's own interest very much would be a factor. Pep Guardiola is a natural attraction. So too is the annual contention in the Champions League. They can also surround Haaland with some of the most inventive players in European football and the prospect of being supplied by Kevin De Bruyne, Bernardo Silva and Phil Foden would surely appeal to him, as he also grew up as a Manchester City fan. Both clubs need a striker. City need a replacement for Sergio Aguero at the level above what Gabriel Jesus has so far offered, and while United may be forging Mason Greenwood into a very good number 9, they also need an elite centre-forward with a better age profile than Edinson Cavani, who seems likely to return to South America at the end of the season. So the Premier League therefore makes sense for Haaland as a destination, and the two Manchester clubs would probably be vying for his signature. And it might be fitting that one of the players likely to be part of the next great footballing rivalry could find himself at the heart of another of the game's great rivalries this summer. If you liked today's video, please subscribe to the channel to help us reach 1 million subscribers. And we're also pleased to be able to offer you access to The Athletic for just £1 per week. Follow the stories that you care about with closer access and intelligent takes. See the link in the description now to sign up. Thank you.